they've grown accustomed to and that these guys have been scrimming on for quite some time. So they got to be prepared. Lucky the first man to get eyes on that sort of forward reconnaissance. He does finds himself the info sends Real in for D-Light. Yeah, this is fantastic. You see New York, though, trying to pick up an extra couple kills just to get these spawns from Miami farther back so they can't win the run. But obviously, they don't have pressure pushed out of the front side of the point. So Heretics, the opportunity for a quick break is in. Skies looking to get to that break and break it himself. A row for him on the outside of the pool. That's a fantastic turnaround and possibility to take the lead and now Sib to take the spawns. Yeah, those are huge gunfights by Sid. They win one rotation. Sid got here first, but Miami players, I mean, they're just crawling around the hill. All over the place. Sky's funding is brought down by Real. That battle on the other side of this bar goes that way. And there we go. The Heretics were thought their holiday was going to be ruined. The vacation, the moment as the lead changes once again with the Heretics in control. And I felt like a sort of surprising moment toward me because Sib, again, won a, a couple key gunfights, goes and pushes out the back, but then never actually, like, officially blocks the spawns. And, I mean, this is a hill that... Being a little bit of time to make your way forward for the Heretics. Hydra is going to cause problems, though, on the inside of security. Trade it out. Pressure now from both the top and the bottom. This is going to be an awkward spot for the subliners to be in. Let's see how they handle this. I mean, last time for a while, folks. We'll keep it. Enjoy these hard points while you can. This major is going to see the last of it, but this is another pool we may remember. Trophy's in position now for Lucky. A soak for the Heretics. Only a 20 point lead, but I think Subhunters be feeling pretty good. Heretics want to ramp up the pace, and Lucky might be that guy. Lucky has been that guy for quite some time. Last series we had with the Heretics, he was certainly the front runner there. But after the first set of hard points, chance, not a bad look from either side. Wonderful work here from New York. Oh, on the bounce back. Three clean down in the feed including a Hydra. Can both of the P1 hills we've had this game, and well, they'll turn this one in rotation over towards Ooh. P2. Hydra cannot get it done. Javi turning things up. That is a three spree to guarantee this. Right? Open that thing right up. So you can stack this hill, try to play for this old scrap time. 20 seconds left. If I'm Heretics, I'm fighting tooth and nail for it. Absolutely. Great work from Vico there on the pinch. I was going to say Metal's finding one in that. And so far away, Sib hiding spot does not pan off. And there's the time from the Heretics. There's the freebie flank from Metal's. Perfectly timed and coordinated. That is the down Vico as well. So Hydra, his awareness has been on point so far this game. He just bought his team this time. Time's on it. Heretics running around. Subline. I got one. I need a time. Yeah, and look, P1 has been fantastic for Miami. You have Real and Hydra right now just battling so far on six star, but around this point, Heretics have dominated it. And in a moment where they need to be able to do the exact same thing, once again, they're trying to. Heretics have fallen silent. Hydra finds his new hard points up, and Kismet is in place for it. Wins a big one. Can he get a second? He does. Kismet runs it. Can't find the next. Hydra's there for the pickups. Chance this could be game. Oh, that's going to be it. Kismet's headset, I think, calling game. He heard pressure coming. Heretics getting V3, and I think this might be too much noise. Sky's going to be waiting in the wings. A fuse. Looking like Subliner is going to pull away with the round number one, and that's even going to dodge it. But Eagle by himself in New York Subliners. I mean, I don't think this is going to be a fake. I think they're ready to run it down. Yeah, they're waiting for that pinch, though, but no one from the Heretics gets there. Got good seats. You snooze, you lose, kids. This is going to be tough for the subliners, though. That is a maniac child for the first blood, and that is great help to make sure you got the coverage to see what was on the other side. But I don't know. Maybe the Heretics players, he might have a guaranteed kill. Hey, there's no way you account for this. Hello. Unless you do it like that, get the trade. Yeah. He's got escape plans from there as well. Nice work. This time, though, Kismet barely getting away with his life. Scum. First, first kill. This is his time to shine. Here comes three of them. See right through the window of the dozer. Metal's trying to pick up what was Hydra Bay. Sends it. The Dolphin dive. And it was all for absolutely nothing. Hydra. Devout. In Real, he's on the hunt. He's behind two. One is going to be free. Two would be candy. And, well, can't get it. Kismet gets the kill. And he gets out with his life. -ish. Multiple clutches. Well, that sender stuff, which was fantastic. I mean, sender does get me going. Every single time I see him, I'm like, I'm ready to party, man. I'm ready to run through a brick wall. That is a tough to cause tremendous damage to your roster. 
be kind of lucky though. They do manage to fight their way out. Kismet. On the flank, doing some damage, but it's not going to be enough for maybe in the nick of time. I don't know. One player left the lot, can't get the B zone, trying to slide out and capture. A that minute. Well, 20 seconds of it have long gone. You haven't been able to get out of this street. Not able to gain any ground whatsoever. Even the spawners there now pinned in with Kismet once again causing problems. Skies goes for the longest beatdown possible. Man cruises. Gonna get it ending and it is not gonna be a happy one. Another first blood start though on the control round for Yao. That's on invasion control with plays like that. Kismet already has the cruise. Already a tick of progress over towards A. And even without enough hit to the trophy, still able to stay alive. Heretics, well, they left players in the back before. You gotta hunt this man down. If Eagle's gonna be going for it, but Sib sees it the entire time. The sun grenade's on point. Players, but the second man on B is gone. Metals now has to retreat. So good looks on the defense here from the subliners. Yeah, and if you got a guy like Metals playing up top, I mean, he's doing the right thing because you know, always look, New York subliners with the way things.